Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Sunday, July 24th, 2022. Well, I know you're used to hearing me talk about COVID and even monkeypox, but today I'm talking about something totally different. I'm talking about adding salt to your food and life expectancy. I read a lot of medical journals and this study caught my attention. But first the question, do you add salt to your food at the table? Well, if you answer yes, you may want to listen to this message. There was a new study published in the European Heart Journal on July 10th, and this was researchers from Tulane University, and they found that adding salt to food at the table was linked to a higher risk of premature death and a lower life expectancy. And this higher risk of premature death was independent of lifestyle, diet, socioeconomic level, and pre-existing diseases. Now, the researchers studied more than 500,000 people, and those who always added salt to their food, they had a 28% increased risk of dying prematurely, and the researchers defined that as dying uh, before the age of 75. So specifically, the researchers found that at the age of 50 years, life expectancy was reduced by 1.5 years in women and by 2.28 years in men who always added salt to their food compared to those who never or rarely added salt to their food. Now, the researchers also learned that intake of high potassium fruits and vegetables could offset the risk of extra salt. Now, for most of us, the amount of sodium that we eat varies widely from day to day, depending on what we eat or drink. But adding salt to food, putting that salt shaker in the middle of the table and adding it to your food, that is a common eating behavior, and you see a lot of people do that. Now, there are a lot of ways to lower your salt intake. You could read those food labels. You could avoid salty snacks, processed foods, lunch meats, and certain condiments. That's just to name a few. However, but one immediate step you can take is to remove the salt shakers from the table. Now, you don't want to replace that salt shaker with a lot of salty seasonings that are loaded with salt. And you want to supplement your food intake with fresh fruits and vegetables. So if this talk resonates with you, if you're one of the people that add your salt to the food before you even taste it, take the step. Remove the salt shaker from the table and break the shaking salt on the food habit. According to the researchers, it's never too late to start. The researchers concluded that even a modest reduction in sodium intake is likely to result in substantial health benefits Uh, And these benefits can include reducing the risk of high blood pressure, stroke, and kidney disease. And that's especially important to African Americans because here in the United States, African Americans have excess risk of high blood pressure, stroke, stroke, and kidney disease. Now, it might take a little time to get used to the taste, but you can add water or drink extra water or Add flavorful vegetables such as garlic, green pepper, onions, celery, or dried herbs such as sage, thyme, rosemary, basil, oregano instead to season your food. So put away that salt shaker and try it and see what happens uh, to your general health. I hope you get better and I, I think that you can do it. That's my message today as always. Take care, folks, and be safe.